Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm still in the SUV. We're gonna make some soup up. I'm feeling kind of cold, so I decided to make some soup with the induction cooktop. And while that's cooking, let's play some Grand Theft Auto on the Steam Deck, Valve Steam Deck. I'm gonna see how many crimes I can commit and get away with it. It seems like every time I go to play the game, and I'm videoing, I get this thing here where it's installing a script. I'm like, oh my God. And then while I'm cooking the soup, I forgot to press the start button. I remember when I first got this induction cooktop, I thought it wasn't working because I didn't press the start button. And I was so furious that I had everything set up for a video and I was gonna cook and show off this induction cooktop and it wasn't working. So I called my wife and it was so funny because she was like, did you press the start button? I'm like is a start button. And then I looked at all of the paddling and saw the start button. I was just like, oh my God. So I would have been sitting here for a long time waiting for this thing to cook. It's finally cooking now. So this is the paneling I was talking about. You have to put which watts you want to use. And I usually put it on 900 watts. I have it on medium. And then after you put the temperature that you want, you have to hit this start button. And I forgot to hit the start button, but you can hear it when it activates. You see the water is starting to boil now. I opened up the window and I do have a fan on up here. Sorry about the light, but that's just to exhaust some of the steam out of the car. Smells nice too. This is how we're doing. I was gonna play Grand Theft Auto, but it didn't come out too well. So let's check out the gameplay of this NBA 2K. Looks like I'm not connected to the internet, but let's see. Every time I start playing the game, it's crazy. <coughs> but this is the uh, entry screen for the 2K. I mean, it's like several modes. You can play online, which is like really cool. Everything happens really fast. Updates player information, updating information about the game, rosters and everything like that. Once it finishes updating the roster and everything like that, I'm in the tier one. You gotta get more three or more wins to come out of the, uh, the tier one. And sometimes I have trouble. Uh, let's see what team I wanna pick. You use this button in the back here to select the teams. I usually pick LeBron James. And that shows a lot, right? I'm saying I'm I pick LeBron James, <laughs> the Lakers I meant. But this is a really cool game. Maybe later on I'll show you all some gameplay of the game, but I'm really hungry. Yummy, look at that. This is the ultimate camping meal. I have my soup, I have a sandwich that I prepared before, I have my dessert up there, and I have a bottle of water. Let's get started eating this food. Can't wait. These are the noodles here. I prefer putting my own twist on the, the noodles. I only put a little bit of water in because I know I was gonna eat out of this pot here and I wanted to dry up all the water, but showed you before it's pretty good and i had bowls but left them in the rv mm. um you can never go wrong with ramen ramen or however you call it some people call it ramen some people call it ramen i like it no matter what mm. and i think you can never go wrong with it i cooked on this induction cooktop a couple of times and every time I cook with it, it always comes out really, really good. I almost forgot to lock my door. Sometimes people will hear you in the car and they'll open up your door. <laughs> so it's always good to close the door. But this ramen, I learned to put my own seasoning in the water while I'm adding the, the rum in itself. And I also add the packet, but it gives it that much more flavor. 
Um, I basically put garlic powder and onion powder along with the ingredients that comes with it. Really good. Some people may say, oh, you added a lot of over sodium in there. I drink enough water throughout the day and walk around and swim and do all these activities to burn that sodium right up. Mm. And that sodium that everybody's worried about is in everything that you eat. Mm. That's what gives food the flavor. Most food that's good for you don't taste as good. Mm -hmm. Having this thing is a deal breaker. But you can cook in the car, you can cook burgers, soups, everything you want. Eat healthy. Just like you was in the sticks and bricks. Only thing in the SUV I can't stand up. But I can stretch out in the bed. I can lay down. I have running water. I don't have a toilet though. I have a collapsible toilet, but I can't use it inside of here. I don't have enough space. So I'm usually somewhere where there's a toilet and I can go to the bathroom. But this was really good. I kept you on the whole time. So you can see me eating it. And wow. I cleaned my plate. It was really good. I liked it a lot. I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to get right back to you. Right, I cut the TV on in the back. Just so I can watch a little TV. And some people ask me, how do you watch TV from the front seat? And I'll show you how I watch it. I mean, it's not all that comfortable. I usually watch the TV more when I'm in bed. But I do have all the channels. I have cable. I have everything. And these are some of the channels that I watch. I love watching all of these things here. But let me show you how I do look at the TV. So if I am watching TV, I'm usually like this, turned to the side. The TV is like right behind the camera where I'm looking right now. And it's really easy for me to watch TV, play video games. Again, it's not the most practical. And I just sit like this, I lean up, and uh, my whole body is turned the same way. And my head is just turned a little bit to the side. And it's comfortable. I wouldn't say it, it, it wasn't comfortable, but most of the time I watch TV there, I'm in bed. If I'm sitting in the front seat and I'm eating or I'm cooking, I usually put my iPad and the front dashboard and I watch TV on the iPad. I have the same pro apps, programs that's on the TV. I have the same things on the iPad, where it's the same thing. And when you're in a small space, the iPad is huge. So even watching TV in the car is really huge. It's really nice playing video games. I'm not gonna say that, but it's really good. By the way, guys, check out the Smalls RV Adventure shop. We have a bunch of items on there, like cups. We have hats. Usually I have on this hat. I don't have a hat on like I have now. It's winter outside and I was outside. So that's why I'm wearing the hat like this is now. But check out the Smalls RV Adventure Shop where you can get a lot of the gear that you see in a lot of the videos. And these cups and these hats made of great quality. This cup here, I put my coffee in and it stays warm for hours. The hat, stylish, has the snap back. So it's really good. Check it out. Smalls RV Adventure Shop. This is the current book that I'm reading, Astro Odyssey, Guardians of the Luminous Realm by Justin E. Douglas. I've been reading it for a while. I don't wanna give away what the book is about. I can just give a brief little detail. And these kids are having astral projections into alternate galaxies. And they're traveling and having so much fun. And there's so much illustration in the mind when you're reading this book, it's great for teenagers, 
a great sci-fi adventure to keep your kids busy for hours and hours. This is part one of a trilogy package by Justin E. Douglas. The book is available on Amazon. I'm going to put it up on our Amazon storefront. I'm going to put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. Again, Astro Odyssey, Guardians of the Luminous Realm. It's a great read. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. It's time for me to pack up and get out of here once again. Almost forgot to turn off this inverter. Doesn't take much wattage. When you have the inverter on, it, uh, it only uses about maybe six watts, maybe less of power. So you can really leave it on all day and you won't drain your batteries. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm taking off all of the window covers and I am going to turn on the car just to get everything started and def not defrost it, but get all of the condensation off the window because I was cooking in here and hopefully it didn't look like I was doing something else. <laughs> if you do do condensation inside of here when you're cooking. So I tried to like open the window a little bit. Let me turn off this fan because the last time I had the fan on, I left it on for about three days. Sometimes you can feel when the fan goes off. I put on this front heater vent just to uh, clear up that windows just a bit before I, I run out of here. But again, thank you guys for joining, watching, staying involved. Please hit the like button, comment below. And if you're not subscribed, I hope I can keep you around and subscribe. I am going to show off that Valve Steam Deck a little bit more. Didn't go as planned. That's how some things go when you do a lot of these videos. Things you have fled, they don't go as well. So I'm going to see what's going on with the Grand Theft Auto on the Steam Deck. The other games played. Um, really good gameplay. I have the TV on. I like to watch TV before I call it a night. But it was really cool. Also, check out the book that I showed you guys. This thing is like really great. I have it back here and I don't want to take it out of a plastic. So I'm gonna leave it in the plastic, but it's called Astro Odyssey by Justin E. Douglas. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. Check it out. It even has like a more of a summary that I gave on the Amazon page itself. So check that out. Also, all the products that I use in these videos, they're also in the description below. So the induction cooktop, the cookware, everything that I use, the stands that I use for my microphones, if you're interested in getting involved in YouTube, the lights that I use, the batteries, the off-grid system that I have installed in the car, the power, everything in the car, the Chins lithium batteries that I use that are installed in the car. Anything you want is down in the description below. But that's all I got for you this week. See you guys soon. I'm going to keep posting videos. You guys keep coming along. I couldn't have done this without you. I could have not done this without you. I'm so happy that to have you on the channel watching the videos. I'm so happy to provide the videos for you. I hope the information is continuous and you're able to grasp onto a lot of the things that I do. And I hope it's entertaining for you. But until next time, see you later, everybody. I'm so grateful. Thank you for watching. See you later, everybody. Until next time.